NHS England is doing work to raise the awareness of sepsis. Sepsis is where the body's response to an infection becomes chaotic and dysregulated and it causes damage to the body's tissues and organs. It's important to remember that sepsis will only occur when a person has an infection. It can result from any type of infection, but commonly urinary tract, respiratory and abdominal infections. Sepsis is a common medical emergency. People can deteriorate very quickly and will need rapid transfer to hospital. Sepsis can lead to organ failure, shock and death if people don't get proper treatment. There is evidence that people with a learning disability are prone to catching infections and they are dying from sepsis. This could be avoided if the infections can be prevented and if people knew more about spotting the signs of sepsis. It's not always easy to identify someone who has sepsis as it can mimic other conditions. Some people may feel very hot while some may feel shut down and cold. Some people may have rigors and they may also complain of muscle pain. It's common to have a very fast heart rate and it may also be irregular. The person will be breathing faster than normal or have shortness of breath. They may look cyanosed. A person with sepsis may have new confusion or an altered mental state. They may show different behaviour to normal and be much more sleepy or agitated. Sometimes they may have nausea, vomiting or diarrhoea. Changes in blood pressure can make them feel very lightheaded and dizzy. Some people may faint or collapse. Often with sepsis, kidney function is affected. The person may not feel as though they can pass urine or you may find they haven't passed urine for a long time, for example, all day. What to do if you think someone has sepsis? If you think someone has sepsis, you should seek advice straight away. Phone NHS 111 or a GP surgery and say you are worried that the person may have sepsis. You may have to arrange transfer to hospital straight away. 